was six years old, I was playing outside my garden and saw my neighbor spraying massive amounts of liquid on his grass and the paths around his house. I went up to him and asked him what he was doing. He told me that he was getting rid of herbs using pesticides. Back then, I didn't understand, but it was probably no coincidence that in that winter there was not a single fruit on his orange tree. And he was not the only one. In that year, 2012, over 750,000 tons of pesticides were spread on our planet with a disastrous effect. In the past few years, over 35% of bees have already disappeared. Scientists are alarmed. In countries like China, bees have already been extinct to a point where humans have to pollinate every single flower by hand. Saving the bees. I have three main points I want to talk about. Why are bees listed as endangered species? What will happen if bees go extinct and how can we help them? Bees are going extinct because of pesticides being used in nature, the home for many animals and insects. For many of you, bees might just be annoying, but the truth is that they are crucial for our lives, even though they almost never get the credit they deserve. So what will happen if bees go extinct? Each and every one of us benefits every day from the hard work of our most important pollinators. Bees are responsible for over a third of the food we consume, and they perform one of the most important tasks in agriculture, pollination. Without bees, we would not have any fruit, vegetables, or flowers. Our clothes, mostly out of cotton, would be very expensive, or probably wouldn't even exist and your morning coffee would also vanish. So basically, a world without bees would soon become a world without humans. Have you ever watched the bee movie? Well, if you did, do you remember that one scene where all the flowers and plants and trees are dead? Well, that's what's going to happen if we don't save bees. And we cannot only blame those situations on politicians or agriculture. It is also our own responsibility to support our environment. So here are a few ways to help bees. Do not use any pesticides, but instead respect those insects and herbs in your garden. You can plant your garden or even just your balcony with bee-friendly plants, so the bees will always have something to eat and can make that honey. If possible, you can build a bee house where the bees can happily live or just install a little water basin where the bees can drink. Add a few objects so they won't drown. In the meanwhile, more and more people have realized the importance of bees and helped them. And guess what? Last year, my neighbor has built a bee house and has already made a lot more friends. Thank you for listening and remember to be happy.